Hello everyone, so today I will be testing Norton Mobile Security. Now let's quickly take a look at it before I start the test. And I have a 30 day premium trial which I did not have to earn an email or pay ahead of time or do any of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it as I previously said. So we have our standard anti-malware scan now, pretty simple. We have a privacy tab. Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay, so of course, since this is a completely clean virtual machine, there are no apps sharing personal information. Wi-Fi security. Okay, so that's kind of like a Wi-Fi risk scanner. It wants me to try their VPN, which is... I'll save that for another day. We have an anti-theft. I have to sign in for that. Kind of redundant since there's Android Device Manager on most Android phones. We have web protection, which blocks malicious and fraudulent sites. Okay. We have System Advisor. So we have, I guess, check for vulnerabilities. Of course, this virtual machine is rooted. And let's see what this is. App security, so we have another tab here. App advisor, um, no privacy risks, okay. App advisor for Google Play. Okay, this is actually unique. I have never seen anything like this before. Scanning apps on Google Play before I download them. That is something I've never seen before, and I'd say that's pretty unique to Norton. Anyway, getting off topic. We have our anti-malware. Just took a look at that. We have online. We have Wi-Fi security, which already took a look at that. We have web protection. We already took a look at that. We have... I'll go away. We have link guard, identify unsafe links. Okay, so kind of more of the same thing as web protection. Safe search. So this is kind of like their desktop windows safe search. Except for mobile, I guess. We have our anti-theft, took a look at that. We have call blocking. No numbers blocked. Yeah, I'll go ahead and allow that. So this is kind of a fraud and scam. Actually, those are the same thing, whatever. Alert system, and you can just block numbers. We have contacts backup. Back up your contacts. System advisor, already took a look at that. And we have sign into your Norton account and pay for this. Kind of a little bit pricey, but we'll see if it performs well and see if it's worth that price. Because if it protects you well, then um, it's worth the price. Let's see anything else in here? Messages. Nothing there. I have our app settings. We yeah, have turn on Norton Community Watch, Norton Product Suggestions, Unsafe Wi-Fi, or Network Alerts, rather. Scan. Now, just for this test, since all of the malware is on the emulated SD card, I'm going to turn this on. Other than this, I have not changed any settings. Ransomware Recovery. Okay, so this is like if ransomware takes over your device, like locks your screen. That is actually a real threat. I will probably showcase it at some point, assuming I can get it to work. Debug log, live update, I should probably run that. That way everything is up to date. Looks like it finished updating. And I don't think I took a look at this. So that's kind of um, a showcase of their features. Okay then. So now that we've taken a look at this, let me show you what we have today. 
for regular viewers, we you know that we have the regular 103 threats. So you can see 103. Now let's go back to Norton and do a scan. And let's see what kind of detection rate we get. I will be right back. Okay, the scan is done and that was incredibly quick. As you can see, we have all of our threats. It does not say how many threats we have, but it does tell us it's on the SD card. Or the emulated SD card, rather. Now, there's no remove all threats, so I will just delete these one by one in the app, and I will be right back when it's done. Alright, I'm back, and I have finally clicked through all the threats and removed them. Now, let's take a look and see what we have left. Five threats left. This is really impressive. This is one of the best results yet, I think. And that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.